This is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called Faith to Fall Back On by Hunter Hayes. And we're going to start out on, on, in a D major chord, but, but to play along with the recording, you'll end up capoing on first fret. But the way, way you play D major, first finger hits the G on the, on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the D, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. We play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret. Second finger on the D string, second fret. Third finger on the B string, third fret. Oh, well, just the two fingers, actually. It's just a regular E minor. But if you wanted to, you could take the third finger and add it in on the B string on the third. Thinking on the high E string on the third. And that sounds like called E minor 7. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. There's a couple ways you might want to play the G major. You do first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the low E string, third, third finger on the high E string, third, and if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, you could also take the third finger though and kind of go to the B string, third fret, pinky on the high E string, third fret. That's another way you may want to play your G major through the song. And then from the G major, we're going to be going back to our D major. Later on, actually, hear these cool little hits, actually, like at the end of that D major, actually, especially through the verse, where we go to an A major chord. One way to play A major, you do first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the B string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord. Now, you may also want to play around with something called A7 sus, where you take the first finger on the D string second, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, then that sounds an A7 sus. So there's this cool little lick in the verse, actually, and, and actually kind of hear it in the background through the tune on the D, where you do the, kind of the D, and if you were doing just downs on these, actually, that could be a cool way to kind of work it. There's definitely some parts in the song where we do just that. It's kind of a down, 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 and you, you can kind of think eight downs on each one, and that would give you an opportunity on that last down to get the A chord in. <laughs> so you have D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, before you go back to the D, <laughs> you kind of start over. So we tried that with just the downs. We'd have that D, E minor, and I'm kind of doing eight downs, and then kind of taking the flat of my right hand and laying it on the saddle for some right hand. D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, E minor, G, D, A, you can do the last two. Um, and then from there, the, the, on our, our verse part, actually, is kind of a variation of that idea, where when we get to, uh, right after the G chord, we do kind of our A with kind of four downs, kind of big downs on, the, on that A chord. And then we go into our chorus part, which is actually kind of a variation of that too. And then we'll be repeating that through our song until we get to our, our solo part or our bridge part. And on our solo bridge part, we, we do an A major, and then we go to G major, and then we do an A major, and then we go back to G major. And we kind of start repeating that through the song. Now one other strum pattern I would think about through the song too is something called down, down, up, up, down, up. I love down. So, so you could take D major, and if you just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through kind of that, that, that intro form. The weird part is you may want to just completely ignore the A. Or, or you could do the D, down, up, up, and maybe kind of throw it in on the last down. Kind of cheat a little bit of the song that way. So you'd have D, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. Hunter Hayes, though, instead of starting on a D chord, he's starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your D is really an E flat major, your E minor is really an F minor chord, your G major is really an A flat major chord, and the A major is really a B flat major. But you may want to just try just kind of those downs kind of through that intro, that D, E minor.
Or there is this cool little lick too around the D chord where you could play third fret on the B string and then second on the on the B and then open B and then second on the G string kind of around the D chord. So if you wanted to kind of use that as kind of your intro too. And then you can kind of pick it up on the E minor. So that, that, just kind of a random idea there. But or you could try the down, down, up, up, down, up through that. You know, down, down, up. First verse, and so we tried that with the down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have me down, up, up, down, up, G minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, A, D, down, up, up, down, up, G minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, 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 down, up, up, so we kept that going for our next chorus. We'd have the D down, up, up, down, up, D minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, D, down, up, up, A, D, down, up, up, down, up, D minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, then we go back into our intro part. So we're kind of back to that D, E minor. And a lot of times on that first down, up and down, down, up, up, down, up, you're doing a bass note for the chord. So on the D, you'd have the D for your bass. On the E minor, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. And on the A, you'd have the A string for the bass. So we tried our next verse with a bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have D with a D bass down, up, down, for a low E bass down, up, up, down, to a low E bass down, up. We'd have our D bass down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down,